What's the name of this cable and where does it go? Why is there a new connector for graphics card? And what do I need to know about 12 volt high power? Greetings everyone from Hamburg. I'm Nam and today we're diving into the world of cables and connectors in a PC. As our PCs become more powerful, they need to process and transport a greater amount of data, instruction and power. The power supply serves as the heart of every PC, supplying electricity to the installed components. Here are the essential cables you can connect to your power supply. Let's start with the 12 volt high power. This connector is a highly powerful power delivery system that has been specified in ATX 3.0, making it one of the most important changes. It is designed for continuous power output of up to 600 watts and features a special connector that has 16 pins, but is still smaller than a six plus two pin connector. The new signal lines, also known as sense lines of this connector can communicate their power requirements with the power supply to ensure sufficient power is provided. For a short period of time, ATX 3.0 compliant PCUs must be able to deliver up to three times the rated power of a graphics card or double the rated power of the power supply. When this connector was introduced in autumn 2022, adapter cables were still required. However, new ATX 3.0 power supplies over 450 watts must now be equipped with this connector. The connector of the 12 volt high power port has a smaller form factor than the previous PCIe 6 plus 2 connectors. It is particularly important to fully insert the connector and its pins into the port at both ends of the cable. Here's a simple rule of thumb. First, push the connector into the port until the latch engages and second, ensure that the connector is fully inserted and the gap around it is very small and even. Bending the cables near the connectors can cause the pins to come loose. Therefore, we recommend bending the 12 volt high power cable at least four centimeters away from the connector. And here's a small tip. Always bend the cables carefully and slowly when they're not plugged in. This way you protect the pins in the connectors on the graphics card and the same applies to the PCU side as well. As of now, Be Quiet offers the Pure Power 12, Straight Power 12, as well as the Dark Power 13 and Dark Power Pro 13 as fully certified ATX 3.0 power supplies. By choosing these power supplies, you are well prepared for the new standard both now and in the future. Now the PCIe power supply. Older or simpler graphics cards receive their power through the PCIe slot while high-end graphics cards require additional power through a 6-pin or 8-pin connector. The 6-pin connector can deliver up to 75 watts while the 8-pin connector can deliver up to 150 watts. In recent years, powerful graphics cards have used up to 3 or 4 connectors. The next one is the 24 pin connector. This connector plugs into the motherboard and is responsible for everything except the CPU, GPU and SATA drives. Since the ATX2 standard 24 pin connector has been required. To support older systems, there are also 20 plus 4 pin cables. Interesting fact, some decades ago, it was pretty common that the PC was powered through this one 20 or later 24 pin cable only. The remaining peripherals could be powered through their own slots on the motherboard. This approach is still used in some small form factor motherboards where component options are limited to keep power consumption as low as possible. Now let's get to the 12 volt P8. This connector is used for powering your CPU. Most motherboards have a P8 connector, but there are also other configurations. Originally, the P4 connector was defined for the Pentium 4 and later replaced by the P8 connector. If your motherboard has multiple connectors, such as a P8 and an additional P4, always connect the larger connector first, which is typically the P8 connector provided by our current ATX 3.0 power supply. SATA power cables. These cables supply power to SATA drives such as hard drives and optical drives, but they can also be used for other devices like fan hubs or ARGB controllers. They have a total of 15 contacts and can deliver three different voltages, 12 volt, 5 volt and 3.3 volts. Modern SATA SSDs have their own voltage converters and only require the 5 volt line. The 3.3 volt line is rarely used anymore. Now let's get to the 3 and 4 pin fan cables. Current fans are available with a 3-pin or 4-pin connector for PVM. The first two pins are plus 12 volt and ground responsible for providing power. The third pin transmits the fan speed to the motherboard so that it can control the speed through voltage. The fourth pin is for controlling the fan speed via PVM. PVM or pulse width modulation converts a digital signal into an analog signal for the fan. This means that the speed is controlled by the PVM signal from the motherboard. 
addressable RGB. If you want to have beautiful lighting for your system, you cannot avoid ARGB anymore. The ARGB header is designed in such a way that you can't plug it in the wrong way. The standard for ARGB connectors is three pins. Here on the motherboard, we see the ARGB connector and in comparison, the four pin connector for classic RGB. In the 12 volt connector, we see pins one, two, three, representing RG and B, red, green, blue. Accordingly, this connector can display only one color value at a time since the connected LEDs cannot be controlled individually. This means that the popular rainbow effect is reserved only for ARGB fans. We have two great articles on PVM and ARGB on our blog where you can delve deeper into these topics. The link is once again in the video description. Another interesting cable is the riser cable, which allows you to install your graphics card vertically instead of horizontally in the case. It essentially functions as an extension cable for your PCIe slot. So you insert one end in the PCIe slot on the motherboard and the graphics card on the end with a base. Different cases offer various solutions to position the slot brackets vertically at the rear. Make sure to check beforehand whether your case provides this option. Be Quiet offers a high quality riser cable for this purpose and of course our current cases such as the Darkbase Pro 901 support vertical bracket slots, allowing you to view your graphics card from a completely different perspective. Looks good, right? Now on some other cables. The IDE Molex or P8 cable are used for powering older hard drives or optical drives, but they're not very common nowadays. Let's get to the power cables. There are different types of power cables with varying current ratings and maximum power transfer capabilities. The small C13 C14 connector is rated for up to 10 amps at 250 volts, while the large C19 C20 connector is rated for up to 16 amps at 250 volt. And of course, it's always a little challenge and a matter of good practice to organize and route the cables within the case as neatly as possible. Not like this. If you're interested in watching a video on this topic, let me know in the comments. I hope this video has provided you with a good overview of the different cables and their functions. You can also visit our Inside Be Quiet's blog to get more information regarding ATX 3.0. Also, feel free to subscribe to our channel and leave a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Nam and be quiet.